favorite part of the program here at Dal, um, I would say the size of the program and kind of the offshoots from that. So we're a fairly small program. One of the benefits is that it's a pretty customizable program. We are a very small program, but we have a fantastic faculty members who take advantage of having a smaller number of residents in our program to be able to give them the time and attention they need. I think the program takes on a lot of the character of the residents that are in it. As residents go through our program, they enter and leave, we try and modify the program for what uh, the current residents are like or what their career goals are and that type of thing. Encourage them in their interests and to help them along uh, rather than uh, um, push our ideas and what we think they should be doing. It's giving residents the freedom to be who they are. And each resident that comes through brings their own ideas or things they want to contribute. So it's a program that's constantly evolving because of that. So it's, it is completely different now, I think, than it was before. I think a lot of the essential things are similar, like the good working relationships we have with each other. Our program is extremely supportive and flexible. If you're having issues, they'll have multiple ways to help you get through that. In areas of interest, they'll do whatever they can to make sure that you're able to kind of go after those areas and really excel. We always look out uh, to see what's the best uh, way we can help residents. Residents get a lot of experience doing other things, so if a resident has a special interest in uh, leadership or research or education, we are able to give residents experiences in some of those things that they may not have had before. I think the main reason that made me choose the program here at Halifax and uh, at Dalhousie University is that uh, it was the best elective I had. I just think that the people and the program is great and the uh, people are just very approachable. After having come and done an elective, I just felt like it was a great work environment and every staff I worked with was helping teach and really willing to help me learn and be involved in my program. We're fortunate that I think our residents are a very cohesive group. And I would think if I were a resident coming into our program, it would be a wonderful group to be part of. We have a very good group of residents. Our program director, Dr. Bose, is amazing. Our academic manager, Karen, is amazing as well. I'm never uncomfortable um, asking them for questions. Program director, Dr. Bose, and I have a open door policy. Our door is open for them to come in and uh, talk to us, chat about day-to-day uh, -day life, or. Uh, want help with uh, sorting out some issues. Uh, we're always there for them and uh, it's a very friendly collegial relationship. We have an excellent program director, uh, Dr. Bose, and our program administrator, Karen. We always joke that she's kind of our second mother. Uh, I've heard rumors that they call me then mom. So there might be some truth to that. And uh, The group of residents really can't ask for much more. Really easy going, hang out outside of work, and at work, supportive of each other encourage each other's page or that kind of stuff. We have a very small program and I think we have the chance to get to know our residents very well in the way that they may not have the same opportunity in other programs. We try and pay close attention to how our residents are doing, particularly like in their first year or second year of the program. The people in the Maritimes are so welcoming that it, it didn't take a lot of time and I already have a good circle of friends. And um, it just feels like it's a great community. I've met a lot of really good people here. I also think that it's a very livable city, like it's small enough that you can get around without having any sort of commute, like my commute is 10 minutes on the bike, or if I walk it's 20. It's very walkable, like a lot of residents will live close to the hospital or be able to walk around. And Within a 10 minute or 15 minute drive, you're already outside of the city and it's very easy to do outdoors activities like hiking, biking. Ooh, there's just so much to do here, like I feel like especially in the summer every weekend you can just go on a trip that's an hour or two away for a weekend and do something on the beach or go for a hike or um, bike rides down to the valley and all the wineries. Nova Scotia is a really beautiful place. In fact, uh, after all these years we are still discovering places that we haven't seen and been to. Recently I've been really enjoying biking. So girlfriend and I are all often in the trails whenever the weather's permitting. Even Alex and I go out at times. Um, there's just a ton of beautiful outdoor things in Halifax or in Nova Scotia in general that you can get to. I could drive 20 minutes and be at like a white sandy beach, uh, which you could not say that about most other Canadian cities. So uh, there's great access to the outdoors. Every weekend I'm trying to do something different. I went uh, sailing with a group of uh, residents and physicists. So it was a very uh, typical Sunday afternoon for 
someone in Nova Scotia. Like lots to do downtown. It's very active downtown. There's a very lively downtown area here in Halifax. Yeah, Halifax is an amazing amount of restaurants per capita, I would say. It feels like I'm a year in and I'm still hearing about really amazing places to eat. And it just has this high concentration of like amazing restaurants and breweries and cideries and it's still easy to get to. I think that wherever you end up will be wonderful and you'll make the best of it and if you end up here we'd be happy to have you and we are very friendly and very supportive. Whoever you are, look forward to having you if you choose to come to Halifax. You're more than welcome to be here. Have you part one? Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Because it looks like you're crying drama at certain angles. You I don't know, know who he is. <laughs> I don't know who he is. <laughs> uh... Stefan? The white one. <laughs> no. <laughs> turn back. Turn Make okay. sure that one sees it, I what, guess. Okay, we'll start. Okay. Uh, Alright, Alex, interview part three. Weird questions. <laughs> <laughs> I need a minute, that way for this. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you think this video thing is going to work? I think this is going to be great. I think this is going to be great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, Ali. Uh, there might not be much usable in this interview. But <laughs>